Welcome. This is Majesty Sussex Report, and I am Antonio. Please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on your notification. Likes are also important, so take a second and click on the thumb up image. I enjoy reading your comments and responding when I'm able to do so, so please leave a comment. However, if your comment is inappropriate for this channel, it will be deleted. A quick shout out to Vinny Blair for doing your thing, helping out with the algorithm. Hey, thank you. I see what you're doing. So, this story, where, where is the real Kate? Has taken a life of its own. The incom <laughs> incompetence. Communication people representing the Prince and Princess of Wales should all be locked up. As I've said before on this channel, if William had an ounce, just an ounce, of intelligence, he would fire all of them, all of them, and get some real people, diverse opinions, modern people, to, to tell the truth. Stop using this playbook from what, from 1880 or 17 something? And realize that today, authenticity is what counts. Also, <laughs> welcome to 2024. Everyone with a mobile phone or a laptop, a computer, is a reporter, is a photographer, is a host, is a content creator. Not only that, people can independently Download courses, learn about how to do certain things, DUI. So we're all in some ways or another have become experts. But somehow the palace doesn't know this. It thinks we're still in what? 1970? 1940? Come on, folks. Get with the program. So... For those of you that might not know what's going on, and I doubt it, I'm sure everyone knows what's going on. I thought, let's just focus, bring it together. And if by any chance you're now waking up to all of this, I am going to take this episode and just sort of let's bring everyone up to date. Okay, as to why this has now become an issue. So let's start out with some storytelling. Hope you enjoy it. shadowed corridors of public curiosity and the ever-watchful eye of the digital age, the enigma surrounding the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, unfolded like a modern tale of mystery and intrigue. As whispers of her absence grew into a crescendo of public concern, the royal household found itself at the heart of a storm fueled by speculation, digital sleuthing, and an insatiable quest for truth. The saga began subtly, with the absence of a traditional celebratory note from Kensington Palace for Kate's 42nd birthday on January 9, 2024. The silence was uncharacteristic, especially considering the palace's history of marking such occasions with public fanfare. This departure from tradition sowed the seeds of curiosity, quietly germinating in the fertile ground of speculation. Mere days later, the palace broke its silence, not with celebratory news but with a sober announcement that the princess had undergone planned abdominal surgery. The specifics were shrouded in privacy, save for the assurance that her condition was non-cancerous and that a return to royal duties was not anticipated until after Easter. The prince, devoted in his role both as a husband and a father, adjusted his engagements to be by his wife's side, lending his presence to the narrative of a family united in the face of adversity. 
Yet, as the days stretched into weeks, the absence of further details did little to quell the public's growing appetite for information. From the corners of online forums to the headlines of international media, theories abounded. The Spanish press whispered of comas, while social media speculated on the state of the royal marriage and even suggested cosmetic surgery. Each new development, from the sighting of royal convoys to the cryptic messages of Spanish journalists, added layers to the mystery. The palace's attempts to provide reassurance seemed only to fan the flames of speculation. A Mother's Day photograph, intended as a harbinger of normalcy, was dissected with a skepticism born of digital literacy and a distrust of carefully curated images. The photo, criticized for its inconsistencies and alleged digital alterations, became a symbol of the uncertainty surrounding the princess's well-being. As the narrative unfolded, it was marked by moments of solemnity and the surreal. A family observed in a moment of leisure in the Alps. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you also for the kind messages of support for Catherine. A prince's speech tinged with gratitude for public support, and the quiet comings and goings at Windsor Castle, all were scrutinized under the collective magnifying glass of a public seeking clarity. In a world where truth and fiction blend seamlessly, the palace's communications were both a lifeline and a source of contention. Statements of recovery and progress did little to stem the tide of speculation, and the retraction of images by reputable news agencies only deepened the mystery. Yet, amid the whirlwind of conjecture and digital detective work, the voice of the princess herself emerged, we think, not sure. An admission of amateur photography and editing sought to quell the storm, offering an apology for any confusion caused. It was a rare glimpse into the personal behind the public, a moment of vulnerability in the carefully maintained facade of royalty. Was that really her? Is this her voice, or written for her? What is the palace not telling us? As the tale wove its way through the fabric of public consciousness, it served as a reminder of the delicate balance between the right to privacy and the thirst for knowledge. Isn't this what the Duke and Duchess of Sussex asked for and were villainized by the media? The same media that is quick to jump to protect Kate's right to privacy. In the end, the saga of the Princess of Wales is not just a story of a royal enigma but a mirror reflecting the complexities of our digital age, where every image can be manipulated and scrutinized, every silence speaks volumes, and every truth is but a piece of the puzzle. Just tell the truth. I really hope you enjoyed that um, quick summary or that quick storytelling to bring you all up to speed and up to date. Um, for the next segment, I, I was thinking a lot what to do next. And I thought, oh, I'll just show all of the contrary sort of information that's coming up and, and the Royal Rodas all kind of running all over the place, you know, trying to come up with reasons and, and excuses and you know some of them turn in on Prince William already and you know to, to bring all of that in and I thought after a little while of putting it together I just deleted the entire thing and instead I I wrote the following because I felt compelled to and I'll end with this letter. And I, I started out writing the letter to Megan. And says the following. To Megan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. Your courage and resolve in facing the complexities, challenges, the evil of the firm have been a testament to your strength and determination. It's a journey few can imagine, yet one you've navigated with grace and fortitude. Walking away from such a deeply entrenched institution with the full and unwavering support of your husband, Prince Harry, underscores a profound commitment to personal truth, mental well-being, and the shared values you both hold dear. The power of prayer 
along with the steadfast support of the Sussex squad or squaddies as they've been known to be defined these days or even before. And my fellow podcasters working tirelessly to let the truth be known. And we're supported by that Sussex squad and those squaddies has undoubtedly played a pivotal role in your journey. Their voices echoing support and solidarity have been a beacon of light in moments that may have seemed overshadowed by challenges. This community, near and far, has held you in their thoughts, in their offerings of strength when needed the most and in every prayer every day. The ancestors too have watched over you and Harry, providing protection and guidance as you navigated this path. Their wisdom and resilience passed down through generations serve as a foundation for the courage that you have shown. It's a reminder that even in the face of adversity, there is a lineage of strength upon which you can draw from. Today, today, as the truth continues to emerge and it is brought into the light, if even so slowly, it's a testament to the belief and honesty, integrity, and love that it can prevail. Your journey has not only been about personal liberation, but also about illuminating paths for others who may face their own battles against formidable odds. Megan, Duchess of Sussex, your bravery in facing the institution with Harry by your side has opened a dialogue about mental health, personal freedom, and the right to choose one's own path in life. It's a narrative that will inspire many, reminding them that with love, support, and a steadfast belief in one's convictions, it is possible to emerge stronger on the other side. May you and Harry, Prince Archie, Princess Lilibeth, and your formidable mother, Doria, and all those in your circle be protected, guided, and uplifted by all those who stand with you, both seen and unseen. The journey ahead, as it's been, is not always easy, but with hope, healing, and the continued pursuit of truth and justice. In this, you are never alone. Prince Harry, God saw in you what others failed to see. You are the son, your mother, Princess Diana, hoped you would be a man of conviction, honesty, empathetic, brave, and a lion that defends and protects his family at all costs. May your light continue to shine so brightly 
And may God continue to protect you, guide you, and give you wisdom as you forge ahead. Thank you. Dreaming in the 